Hey guys, RC here. All right, we're back with episode four of my little solo project. Um, just playing a little catch up on some notes here. All right, so do we have to... Okay, that's our working together. All right, ooh, I do want to... All right, you research sequels. I don't have 20 points. Damn it. All right, you know what? Let's take a uh, let's take a contract. Let's accept that and get to work. They should work. Let's see if we can get enough points here. Come on. Nope. All right. Contract work. I think we'll accept that one. There we go. All right. Get to work, kid. You let me down. <laughs> All right. I do want to research uh, sequels. And then I can't afford to train or research. So we'll knock that out real quick. Actually, let's develop a new game. Well, no, because I may want to do a sequel right out of the gate here. All right, she's fine. All right, here we go. Develop a sequel to... Um, Swords and Daggers. I think that's it. All right, fantasy RPG PC new game engine. Um, fantasy works good for everyone. All right, this will be swords and daggers. The elves. And that just opens us up to a lot of things. Let's go with 3D graphics. Uh, actually, Fantasy RPG. Gameplay, story. Graphics are pretty important. Sound, AI is less important. So yeah, let's go with uh, let's go with the 2D graphics version three. That'll work. All right, this will be three, two, less simple cutscenes because it's a fantasy RPG. I could see cutscenes in there. Uh, if we have an open world, then we would not want a linear story, I don't think. But we'll keep that in there for now. <clears throat> Actually, I could have looked at that a little bit. Sure. All right, fantasy RPG. Is it gameplay or AI? Uh, definitely gameplay. So this bar for her is our working together. And the other industry professionals agree. All right, three, two. There we go. Uh, let's see. So fantasy RPG dialogue and level design. So better dialogues. Level design's also important. So we're going to add both of them to this game. All right. I'm going to make a little note in here. This is our new staff. This is just in my notebook that I'm kind of keeping notes on. All right. And world design sound all right world design so we'll go open world i'm going to keep the mono sound i don't want to go back to basic here graphics and okay so yeah our, our previous high was like 23 and 24 so we've already smashed that you know All right, so 44 and 30. So immediately you can see 
a big jump in the uh, the the design and technology of the game. Uh, all right, here's our release. It's okay. You, I want to generate a game report. You, I want to train. Uh, and you are design over technology. But I like this because it adds a little bit. And we're going to want each one going up pretty much in the same fashion. And I'm going to train me in the same way. I want design and technology going up together. That'll be a really good one for me. All right, great response. The newer engine. Not a great seller, though. Okay, fair enough. All right, once we finish with our... Uh, tell you what, you can research... A new topic, maybe? All right, let's see. Sci-fi. Sci-fi simulation is good. Let's do that. By the time she finishes that, we should be just about done. I'm, I'm, I'm honestly surprised this didn't sell better. Eh. Fair enough. All right, we're going to develop a new game. Actually, you know what? No, let's develop another sequel. Uh, where are we at there? Swords and Daggers. Oh, it already moved. It, it takes that game out and moves it up, I think. All right, that's a fantasy RPG. That's a fantasy strategy. My, I don't know. I don't think I want to do that. Bruce Lee's Kung Fu Fighting. That was a big hit for us. So martial arts simulation. PC. Newest game engine. And martial arts. That's going to go good with a mature audience. All right. Um... Chuck Norris rules the universe. Because we all know Chuck Norris rules the universe, right? <laughs> all right, we'll go with our best graphics pack, and we will get to work. All right, I's and O's, we're going to leave them alone. They're not making any money. All right, so one, two, three... Story quest. I don't need simple cutscenes then. Save game, gameplay. All right. So, 103,000 units, three quarters of a million in profit. We're actually down to 9.9 .9 million. So, we had 1.1, we're down to 9.9. .9. We moved to the new office. We hired two employees. We've got two payrolls, not just one. And we'll have to watch because we remember it's eight thousand a month just for rent. Uh, and seventy thousand. So we went from eight thousand to seventy thousand in costs. So that may be the reason right there not to do this. We'll see. We'll see. Even though Dialogues is not... In, well, well, let's take Dialogues out. All right. So we gained 2,185 fans for that. Fair enough. All right. Uh, three, two... There we go. Sound. All right. World design. I'm going to take the open world off. Since it's not as important, we can save some development cost there. 
and yeah, we're not 32 33 that's much worse than before the 33 is going to be a new record oh I thought I hit small booth finish don't want that all right so yeah this is I don't know I don't know why you would ever trash a game right because I mean if it makes you any money then you're doing okay uh, is, yeah it's crap all right is he ready for vacation I'm gonna send both of them on vacation I'm going to generate the game report while they're out. So yeah, the game's not going to be very good. And this this was my concern. If you move to this level, where how do you balance that? Because I thought that first game was a huge leap, and it just didn't generate a lot for us, you know? All right, we had, what, 18,000, 28,000 last year? I don't remember. But significantly more this year, 63,000. Fair enough. All right, he's back. She's back. Uh, let's go ahead and develop a... Uh, no, let's develop another sequel. And let's go with... Uh, Let's go with Sim City, a history simulation. History, I believe, was for everybody. Yep. We'll do the PC, because of course that's a great simulation. We'll go with our new engine. We'll go with uh, Sim City 2. And next, graphics, we'll go with the best. One, two, uh, story is not as important, so we'll leave that off. I mean, come on, Chuck Norris, you should be ruling the universe now. <laughs> All right, dialogue's not as important, so we'll leave that off. I wonder if you should put that in just to have like a baseline, you know? Not necessarily have to put your better ones in. I don't know. All right, world design, not as important. Sounds and graphics. A little bit of hype. We're going to do a little research after this one. All right, so Norris is already off. So we went from 9.9 .9 to 9.6. So here's the issue. With the, with the rent and the extra cost for employees... We're actually losing money now. We're actually, we just lost 300000 on that uh, game. So that's, that's a concern. Uh, that's going to have a bug coming out. All right, so this is 3034. We do have one new record in there. We get a level in graphics. All right, I'm gonna train you. No, we want to research right now. Research. Uh, I've got 53 points. Medium games. All right, again, just average. All right, research. I don't want to do casual. I'm wondering though if you have to do that. Uh, let's go with uh, oh, which one do we want to do? I'm going to go with the uh, gameplay. We'll do that. All right, SimCity 2, only number 41 coming out of the gate. All right, now, this is what we might do. We might go publisher, right? Problem is, 
All right, they're finished. Let's go ahead and look at Publisher. Find a publishing deal. All right, I really don't want to do... I have superheroes. Uh, game development. UFO. Oh, that, they want a seven, though. Oof. If we don't get a seven, then there's a penalty. Hmm. That's a five. Any, well, see, I'd have to buy the license, and I don't want to really do that. They only need a five score. Sega, that's the Genesis. I love that. I still have that platform, I think. Yeah, I have that platform. It's in fact it's in my drawer upstairs. There's one game that Shadow Run was the great game on that platform. That's the game I still play on it on occasion. Um Superheroes five eight seven eleven seven twelve. I feel better about the five score, right? Superheroes is an action game. All right, we'll, we'll accept that contract. Superheroes, action. We'll do it on the PC. We'll do it for, oh, they, uh, they want it for the kids. All right. Uh, we'll do medium, our new game engine, and uh, Spidey the web slinger hopefully they have the uh, patent from uh, marvel so we don't get sued superhero action pc graphics start development good luck so once you get the distributor that actually helps but uh let's see so one two three story quest is the least important and we're going to go heavy, heavy, balanced. It's trying to balance this to get the good management bonus that uh, you kind of need more employees, but it is what it is. All right, one, two, three. Dialogues are not as important. All right, so we need more, more technology. Uh, you know what? Actually, I'm going to do this one, and that's going to put Edwin here. And then... It'll be Edwin, me, and then her, I think. All right, three, two, world design. All right, we're good there. 18, 20. All right, I think we're going to want her here, him here, and me. Actually, me there, and him there again? That doesn't seem right. Let me see if I put him there. And her there. That puts us at 100%. Let's try that. All right. For that one, we lost a half million dollars. So, I think this game here is going to tell us if we can reach survivability at this level. I mean, we could lose half a million dollars for a little while, like 18 games, but... We're really not in the business to do that, right? So, all right. 39, 34, that should be records. Oh, 39 was not. No, 44 was our previous record there. Still, it should be a good game. All right, they get salary bumps. All right, we're going to, you generate the game report on here. You research. All 
uh, let's see, simulation, simulation, engine gameplay, level design AI. Let's go with better AI. Do I have, oh, I don't have 40 points. All right, dialogue or world design. World design is not important. Dialogue is not important in simulation. So we'll go with engine. We'll upgrade that. And all right, here's our, oh no. That's shit. That's really shit. So we're going to get hit with a penalty because we did not generate a five rating. I, yay, that's bad. I'm going to have to fire everybody. Go back to the garage. All right, you know what? We're going to look for some contract work. Yep, we got penalized. We're going to look for some more contract work. We'll accept that one. Contract work. Uh, can we make that one? I don't know. Hopefully. She's not very good at it. You see her not helping very much. All right, we do. Well, see, here's the thing. In a, in a, okay, we did make it. I think that's going to be enough. All right, let's work on a sequel. To Dungeon Keeper. We're going to go with a, a small game. Dungeon Simulation. That's going to be PC. New Game Engine. Dungeon Keeper. The Dungeon Master. Ooh. <laughs> All right. Now there with we're on this one with the developer, so we'll sell more games, but we get only a percentage of the cut, remember? So all right, story's not as important, so we're off of that. We lost 110 fans. We're losing fans because the game sucks. So that's that's a problem. And once we've gone to the developer level, I don't know if we can actually afford to come back to a small level because we're not going to be generating. Well, we might be. I don't know. All right. So we're 39, 37, which is a, about the same as the last game. New record on the uh, technology. All right, let's release it, see what happens. All right, you generate a game report for that. Oh, 8.9. So we lost 200,000 even with the developer. Yeah, a few less people this year because we, we had a bad year. All right, seven, five. See, if we would have done that, it would have been a better game. All right, Dungeon Keeper, you can work on that. And Engine Gameplay. Graphics, 2D graphics. I don't have a hundred points, ha. Huh? All right, story quests, not important. World design, not important. Dialogues, not important. 
I'm wondering though, oh, sound, sound is important in these. Yeah, so we'll, we could do sound. I'll do that. Should finish up not long after they do. All right, and go ahead and go on vacation. You go on vacation. I'm good. As you know, of course, as the owner, you never get vacation, right? <laughs> All right. I think we're going to call this a uh, video. I just want to wait for uh, Dungeon Keeper to come back from sales. All right. So we sold 60,000 units, 425,000. And we're back up to nine million. So we made, we netted about a hundred thousand dollars, give or take. So definitely there is an issue going from the garage to this level, to the intermediate level, and hiring employees. I'm not saying it's not viable, but you can see you want to have a lot of money before you get to this level. I think at this phase, it's going to really be training these guys to get them up. And maybe, maybe uh, if you try this on your own, instead of bringing in kind of the mid-level person like I did for the employees, bring in the one that's the that has the highest... Oh, so like for your technology guy, bring in the one with the like the 300 technology and the five design and then bring in the one with the 300 design and the, and the four technology. And that may generate more points. I don't know. I don't know. If you have any ideas, let me know in the comments, uh, because, yeah, I just, you know. We, this is our first one in, what, three? We went from 9.6 to 9.1 to 8.9 and back up to 9. But we had started off in the new building with 11.1. .1. So five games, and we're down $2.1 million. So that is not good. Not indicative of survivability long term. And I'm just trying to think how you might get around that. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, I don't, I think this is far enough that we can kind of see. I think we were survivable in the garage. We had reached survivability there. And we could make four, 400,000, a half million dollars, and maybe have an occasional hit that generates, you know, upwards of a million in revenue. Uh, it wouldn't happen often. We certainly weren't going to reach uh, gold or platinum status in units. But as a small independent developer, I don't think that's a goal, right? Now, the problem is that's the goal of the game itself is it kind of forces you to work in that direction, right? It pushes you with the notices to move to this office, hire employee, four employees, move to the next office, Hire six employees. So, I'm, you know, again, the whole goal of this was to see if we could kind of implement some self-imposed limitations to become like a boutique studio that we could focus on one or two types of things. And, you know, in the garage, I think we were doing okay. Here, it's really started to go off the rails. And, and I... You know, I am worried. Now, we've only done one developer. So maybe we come back and do one more episode. I don't know. Um, yeah, why don't we go ahead and do that? I mean, you know, that way we have two episodes in the building. We can do a couple more developer games and see if that gets us anywhere. All right, guys. Well, that is what it is. So thanks for watching. Leave a like if you think the video was, you know, discovered something for you. Please subscribe to the channel if you have not done so yet. Or if you're new, uh, that will certainly help uh, my channel continue to grow. 
And uh, hey, see you next time. We'll talk to you later. Bye.